welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney from wildsoulblog.com where I share recipes, celebrate motherhood, and the simple joys of life. I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories what recipe you wanted to see next on the blog, and you guys voted for homemade vanilla ice cream. So that's what we're gonna do today. Before we move on, I do want to ask you to like this video and subscribe to catch future videos. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Pinterest and check out the blog to stay up to date on all of the happenings around here. So without further ado, let's get into the homemade vanilla ice cream. You're gonna need just a couple of ingredients. We have one cup of whole milk, one and a half cups of heavy cream. We have a total of half a cup of white sugar divided in half, five egg yolks, a pinch of salt, and either two vanilla beans or one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my egg yolks separated and I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in here because I need to mix it in my KitchenAid with one of the parts of sugar. So quarter cup sugar is gonna go in here with the five egg yolks. and sugar together until pale yellow and now I'm going to heat up the other ingredients in the saucepan. You're just going to add the heavy cream and milk together all together in there and the sugar and then we just want a tiny little pinch of salt not very much at all. Lastly, I'm going to do the vanilla bean. I'm gonna cut them open and put them in here. All right, I have the sugar and the milk and salt and then the vanilla beans in the milk mixture and I'm going to scald it. It's pretty thick and then I'll come back. Okay, so we have the milk mixture here. As you can see, I just fished out the vanilla beans. I just have them sitting here. So you do not, for any reason, want to dump your eggs into this hot mixture because you will have scrambled eggs on your hands and that's a no-no, that's gross, you don't want that. So to avoid that, you're gonna take a little bit of this hot mixture and you're gonna turn your mixer on and you're just gonna slowly incorporate some of the hot mixture into the egg mixture until it seems warm and then you can incorporate the egg into the rest of the milk mixture. So it looks like this. mixture with the warm milk. Let's add it into this. You have to stir constantly. And then we are going to put this back, back onto the stove top to heat through until it is very thick on the back of your spoon. best way to make sure that you don't burn your ice cream here is one to continually stir and two keep it on a low enough setting on the burner that it's not going to boil you do not want it to boil this is cooking the eggs so that you get that rich custard vanilla flavor without eating raw eggs. <laughs> you do not taste it. It's not like you're tasting 
scrambled eggs in your ice cream. It's nothing like that. In fact, I'm pretty sure Bluebell ice cream has egg in it. So, uh, it's getting thicker, getting close. It is time to make ice cream. So I've got my ice cream attachment here. I'm going to pour this into my ice cream maker. Oh, it smells so good. It's thick and creamy. And I'm gonna scrape this pan because I wanna make sure I get all of those vanilla beans. I put my ice cream in here, locked it into place. I'm going to turn it on low for about 30 minutes or so and I'll come back and it'll be soft serve ice cream at that point. So I'll come back. I just stopped it a minute ago and tasted it and oh my goodness, it tastes so good. So let's get it off here. All right, so at this point, it's going to be more soft serve, not, not like ready to eat. You could definitely eat it right now, like as a milkshake if you wanted to, but I'm gonna wait and have it when it's thick because it's best that way. But you better believe I'm gonna lick this. Mmm, so good. Hold on, I'm gonna pour this in here. Okay, we are going to pour this in here. I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to scrape out all of the ice cream because I don't want any of it behind. Sleep, so I'm gonna skip into this ice cream before he wakes up so I don't have to share. <laughs> also, I don't ever buy an ice cream scoop. I've been living on my own since I graduated high school and I've never bought an ice cream scoop. I only ever use a serving spoon because it's super sturdy and it works just fine. So let's get into the ice cream. it. I will give you a quick close-up of this delicious ice cream and I'm gonna go sit on the couch and eat it. <laughs> Again, I want to ask you guys to like this video and subscribe to catch future videos. Don't forget to check out the blog at wildsoulblog.com and my Instagram and Pinterest are also wildsoulblog. Thanks guys. Have a great day.